Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial in this Celeste series where we're gonna create Celeste in Unity with everything that you need from saving to dashing to just the old Celeste game. Okay, so uh, last episode, if you haven't watched that, I'll probably link it in the description because uh, you'll need to watch that first, obviously, because this is the second uh, tutorial in the series. But if you watch the first one, here's where we left. And one thing uh, we quickly want to do in this tutorial, actually, are uh, we going to import sprites and make a tile map so we can actually create awesome levels. We'll also make a player character so that actually looks like a character and not just this black dot over here. Uh, so yeah, this is what we're going to do in this series. Uh, I'm not sure if we can cover dashing here too. I'll just see if we are over 10 or 15 minutes. I'll just make it in the third tutorial. Okay, nice. So what we need to do first here is we're going to right click and make a light 2D and a global light because otherwise our sprites are not uh, lit actually, which doesn't matter for this small cube here. But for other sprites, it will definitely matter. Okay, so you can uh, drag that into the level if you want. Uh, yes, perfect. Okay. So what we need to do now, we actually need some art to import. I've made a bit of a uh, pixel art for this. I'm not really good at pixel art, but you can just download some free art online or make your own art. Okay. First, we're going to create a folder. Nope, here a folder and call that sprites. Sprites, okay. And okay, we go into our sprites folder and then we want to import our art. So I've made some here. I'm just going to import that. Okay, so this is just some simple art I've made. And okay, this should be good though. Okay, so first thing we're going to make our player. So we're going to go, oh, we actually need that. We're going to go to player and we can just uh, use our first one here just so we get a reference. It's a bit too big. Uh, yes, okay. I'm going to set that to 0.1. So that's why I wanted to do this first be before making all those animations. We also need to resize that thing here. This should be fine for now. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, uh, this should be working. Just test that real quick. Uh, yes, okay. Uh, the jump isn't though. Uh, because, oh yes, I know. Because we also need to uh, change the position of our ground check. Uh, so here, this should be about right. So we should be able to jump here too. Okay, and yes, we are able to jump. We can, of course, tweak that later, actually, because the jump isn't really that high. It's not high enough, okay. But uh, it doesn't matter for now. Okay, so I, as you can see, I've made a few uh, sprites here. The character has four idle uh, sprites here, which we can uh, convert into an animation also he has eight run sprites we and we make a run animation too okay so um so for those animations we need to go back to our character controller and inside of that we are going to create a, here a public animator we call that and um, here okay Perfect. Um, animator and in our void update, which is here, we're going to check if is grounded. Is grounded and our move input is not equal. Oh, is not equal to zero. Because this means we are walking on the ground. Uh, so if we do that, uh, we're going to make our animation play here. 
but of course we have to do the animation first uh, but first we're going to make a else and we're gonna to play our other animation here just save that and exit out um, yeah takes a while okay perfect so go back here and you need to go to the animator I've actually I actually have the animator here but and our my animation is here uh, if you don't have those you can just go to Windows a uh, window animation and here you have your animation just drag that into here and our uh, your animator just drag that up there okay so our animation is the uh, most important thing right now uh, for this I'm actually going to drag that here and create a new animation uh, we can uh, call that walk or let's actually make the idle animation first no uh, yes uh, just do assets and we can make a folder later so here you have your idle animation now you can just uh, select those uh, four images and drag those in here and as you can see you already have a animation we can uh, set that back here oh what is this okay wait uh, this is our animated character okay because it seems oh yes we of course have to uh, reset this position here Okay, perfect. Uh, and it seems like we've animated our ground check. Oh, this is not this is not good. Okay, okay. Uh, what we can do though is just go here, animator. Then here, select our ground check, and we should have that here too. And then we can just uh, remove that animator from the ground check. Sorry. Okay. Um. Now we should have a idle animation. Let's play that. It's way too fast. Okay. Uh huh. So just you can uh, just do this, and it will become slower. Maybe this. Yeah, this looks starting to look good. Thirty-one. It's okay. We can tweak that later too. So let's just try it here. Let's hit play, and we see. Yes, our breathing animation plays. So for our walking animation, uh, let's actually create a folder first. Let's call this animations, animations, and drag that in and drag that in. Okay, let's go there. Okay, so what we need to do next is a walking animation. So we're gonna take that out again and create a new clip. We call that walk. And we save that in our animations. Okay, perfect. Um, we need to go to our sprites again. This time we select uh, our run animation. Don't forget anything. Okay. So we can drag that back here. And we should have our run animation. Let's check it. It's way too fast too. Okay. Maybe here. This looks pretty good. Okay. What this this okay whoa okay okay it looks pretty good it's decent enough now let's go into our animator and here if it doesn't show up you can just always click player and then it should show so if we here we can actually see our idle idle animation and walk animation uh, we're gonna hit this plus here make a bool and we call that is walking uh, or is running running okay now we're going to click on our idle animation right click make transition and we want to make a transition to walk we click on that little arrow here we can see conditions and we're going to make is running true also we are going to disable exit time and do uh, point 0.1 for the transition duration uh, we make another transition from walk to idle. This time our con condition is is running is false. So if we are not running anymore, we will go back to our idle animation. 
disable exit time, point one, and you're good. Okay, perfect. So now that we have that, we can actually call our animations in our script. So once again, open up your character controller. And here, this time, we can do anim dot set bool. Okay, then is running. Um, and we say it is wait move input is not zero so it's running is true just copy that here and paste it and here we can say is false okay so if you save that and go back into unity it should actually be working okay so hit play and as we can see it should be working no, it's not working. Okay, so where's the mistake? Oh, yes, of course, we didn't assign the animator in our script. So we're just going to grab player and do this. And now it should be working. So hit play. And now, yes, once we're on the ground, we play our walk animation. If we uh, stop walking, it will not play. And if we're in the air, it will also not play our walking animation. Of course, we can do a jump animation later, but I don't think it's that important. At such an early state, we can just do that later. And yeah, I also think our tutorial is long, and long enough. So we're going to make a cut here. And in the next tutorial, we're going to cover dashing and maybe some other stuff too, like the rest of the tiles. But yes, this was it for this tutorial. I hope you liked it. If you did, you can of course leave a like on the video and subscribe if you don't want to miss any other videos in this tutorial series. And I will see you in the next one.